Have you ever heard of the Cosmo study? You should have. It was supposed to tell us once and for all whether chocolate was good for your heart or not. Because the thing is, every Valentine's Day, invariably, there's a story about the health benefits of chocolate. Chocolate is good for you. It has good antioxidants, etc., etc. Only problem is, while that's sort of true for cocoa beans, chocolate is highly processed, full of fat and sugar, and it's not good for you. Even dark chocolate, which has a bit less fat and sugar, still has a lot. And they have to put that stuff in there because raw cocoa bean extract would be unpalatable and no one would eat it. Chocolate really is the cranberry juice of the dessert world. You've probably seen the research about the health benefits of chocolate, but here are the problems. One, the research is usually about cocoa bean extract, not commercially available chocolate. Two, a lot of the studies are small studies or non-randomized trials. And three, a lot of them are funded by the chocolate industry, which is spending a lot of money to turn the page on this narrative and make chocolate into a health food. So, the Cosmo study. A large randomized double-blind study was done to settle the issue once and for all. Sure, it was funded by the chocolate industry and it tested a cocoa bean extract rather than the type of chocolate you buy at the store, but close enough, I guess. Anyway, it was negative. No cardiovascular benefits, no cognitive benefits, completely without merit or justification. Now, there's no reason why you can't have some chocolate if you want to, but it is toxic to dogs, which is why I never let Toby have any. And do you really want to eat chocolate if it's poisonous to God's perfect little angel? Huh? Do you? All this to say, the next time you see somebody claim that chocolate is good for your heart, remember the Cosmo study. We've already tested it. It doesn't work. For Medscape, I'm Dr. Christopher Labos with Toby.